Yes, man. Cramp and paralyzed we at conception. Open the border, open the border, open the border, a judge and rule on ya. Open the border, open the border, open the border, a judge and rule on ya. Stop the slavery, I go on in a Libya. Just because man walk across the border, you are locked up with brother and sister. I sell them to the Arab slave master Train them up and lock them up and rip up with that And this is abomination in the eyes of your Allah Burn a fire upon slavery in Arabia Burn a fire upon slavery in Arabia Alright, how we going tonight? Welcome to uh, episode 5 of Open Borders, Minifans Across the World My name is Luke McGuerrero And I'm a Minifan from Mexico City in Mexico Joining me tonight is Jackson from Australia Jackson, what's going on? How are we? How's it? Oh, not too bad at all. It's been a busy, busy, busy week uh, in the Minifan world. I think we should, we got to start there tonight. Right well, let's start with the uh, Coleman versus Mutt. Uh, Coleman's diss track just dropped today. It's it's fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you like like Macklemore slash Drake, whatever the hell that sort of copy yeah. was. Is that actually I'll his voice? actually him uh it's ai i think but he i think he like is maybe he's saying it and then like the ai changed the voice but i don't know he did the lyrics I think he's like, like if that is him that is some strange voice he's putting on and it's no voice. yeah it's like, i think it's this technology. shit <laughs> i enjoyed it by the way i do like i, I think he's playing it well like because he's being sensitive holy shit is he being ultra sensitive well, and also Sir, Sir Pouts a lot is the best. I mean, I got to give that one to Mutt just for Sir Pouts a lot. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I'll be honest with you, I'm a powder. I love pouting, so I kind of get it. You what's the, uh, what's the go with you stuff. today? What's the go with you today, by the way? Because, like, I'm sick. Um, I got a lozenger yeah. and stuff. I'm, I'll try not to cough. But you, like, Did you have a... today. What, what's the go with that? Uh uh, you're yeah, a fucking get mess. Allergies and shit. <laughs> what is going on? Um, how hey, this you played your? Yeah, I got a shit. I think I'm gonna give up on this. It's getting pretty gross. Um, I was gonna ask. You played your flu game yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday was a fucking disaster. I'm actually gonna take a few weeks off. Um, really? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like bad. My arm is killing me. The dogs are fucking going off. Shut up, would you? Um, like I've got like a sore peck and I've also got this cold. So now like I haven't sneezed in days. Cause like I go to sneeze and like my chest tightens up and it fucking just hurts so badly that like it, hmm. I just have to pull out of that bad boy. So what, like um, how did you perform? Was it just random? Uh, I, I scored a run. I didn't get out. I had three at bats. I got walked a couple of hits. So that was nice. Um, but I, I literally can't throw I play center field. And I just couldn't throw the ball. So I was like, all right, I think I'm out. I haven't told them yet, no, but I'm fucking out. No DH? But we don't have a DH during winter season, which is fucking nuts. I don't I'm know. Kind of we crazy. have one. I you don't have a DH just because, you know, like. Well, also, it's like a it's like a niche sport here. So, like, you would think they want participation. So, like, yeah, rather than just exactly. having nine players, you would think that, like, they would have a couple of extras. It's not like a tradition but, thing there, no. at least. And it's you know no, it's at Sunday league, um, but we lo- we lost as well, so that kind of sucked. Um, okay. Who did we play? We played Essendon, um, and they actually have the same name as the football team, the Essendon Bombers, and that's my football team. So I was kind of like, oh, okay, I don't know. What same logo. Yeah, yeah, literally. So I don't know if there's any affiliation. That'd be interesting. Straight vodka right here, by the way. Yeah, I believe you. Yep. I'm telling you, you look like that. Like, you look like the kind of guy that would be fucking doing that right now. I don't know what's changed. I know you're in a different room right now. There's no jersey in the background. Yeah. Right. I'm, my, uh, I'm, I'm house-sitting for the weekend. Oh, and right. Of course. Yeah. 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 yeah so yeah. I'm going to have to get up here in, like, five or ten minutes to let the dogs in. And there's a decent chance they'll appear. Um, yeah, I actually, I actually believe you, by the way. That that can't be water because apparently you guys can't drink water down there in Mexico. Like, the water's not drinkable. No, yeah, yeah. It gives you uh, Montezuma's Revenge. So I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm like one of those Mexicans like uh, Canelo Alvarez, though. So, you know? 
<laughs> but we still we, we still get it. It's it is. Why do they have gingers down there? Yeah, that Canelo Alvarez is a ginger. Yeah, I know that. I know, but why do they they've have gingers a, down there? What is that? They've got Mennonites, like a decent amount of them, too. Do you have Mennonites? I don't even you know what I'm talking about. No, no, uh, you know, like the Amish. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, you've they're got, you've got like some. Of, huh? Well, I was gonna say you you have some around where you live, but you live in Mexico. So. <laughs> um, I used to when I used to live in Ohio, I lived really close to a bunch of Amish, and I would actually uh, every day on my way home and to to and from work, I would end up passing one of their buggies, which is kind of a little sketchy. Like when it's dark, like they've got li- they, like the Amish community in that area had uh, lights on their like blinking lights on the back, which is helpful because otherwise you'll just plow through them. But I mean, they, though, with a religion at least uh when i was living there i lived there for three three years in that area and uh there was only one i think buggy car collision but the worst part is the horses generally don't die in that so they like lay there on the side of the road screaming and somebody has to come along later (laughs) so did you like um, yeah but so did you like would you like go past farms and then see like a, a, a big farmhouse get put up in like two weeks. Is that a thing? like three days or whatever the fuck that is? Is that is that shit all true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one morning when I was in this house, I woke up. I was back, it was back in high school, and uh, I woke up and I looked out the back back window and there were a bunch of dudes with like top hats and the whole gear doing doing a fence. Got a beard. Yeah, I kind of. So you one. look like one. Yeah. yeah. I think we absolutely. Um, I always wave at them when I. And they always wave back, which is – they're really friendly. Also, uh, the Mennonites are, like, a little less strict. So, like, I, I would drive by a Mennonite church all the time, and every once in a while there'd be a lady in, like, an old school, like, on the prairie dress, like, riding a lawnmower. Like, one of those big-ass tractor things. <laughs> cutting the grass. That was pretty fun. So, when, when you say less strict, they're, like, incorporating technology. Yeah, like, they'll uh, they'll drive sometimes uh, – I think Mennonite Amish is like a specific form of Mennonite. Oh. Maybe. Yeah, don't I don't they really only like know. drive like black cars or something? Oh uh, no! Like, what am I thinking? Well, they're always in uh, big church vans when they are. But there's yeah, people that yeah, like is their their jobs to like pick them up and drive them around every once in a while. I don't know. town in, like condoms, so they they probably have like ten kids each. They don't have any autism, supposedly. Okay, actually, I think I, I don't know that. I don't know if it's true or not. And they might just yeah, I think that might be fake. Their word. <laughs> what is it? What causes autism then? We're on YouTube, buddy. We're not. A, we're on Rumble too. Oh, but, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, we get put on there as well. I think so, right? We don't deserve that shit. I don't know if we're actually on Rumble or not. No, I don't think so. We are Rumble, Rumble partners on this network, but I don't know if we're actually on there. I don't personally use it. I think you use it, don't you? Yeah, it's it's good. You can unlike YouTube. Unless I don't, you don't pay for YouTube, do you? Or do you? No, I'm paying yeah, for Twitter. Yeah. I can't be paying for YouTube too. So on Rumble, you can like close the app and it'll play in the corner. You don't oh, get that on nice. YouTube. So I kind of like that. Yeah. yeah. But if you want to, if you want to engage in a live chat, you can't be on there because all the lads yeah. are on YouTube. So. Um. So Steve from Gloucester, just much like Jesus Christ himself, died. And then rose again, but only one day later, as opposed. To I was gonna later. say, like six hours later. So I, I, um, I don't know what time it was yesterday. I was busy as shit yesterday, but it was like last night. Like it's what is it now? Nine a.m. here. It was last night where I saw oh, his account is locked. You know, he's he's off. He, he put out that tweet saying, "What is it like? Uh, I'm not going to engage in any minifan kind of tweets. I'm not going to respond to any questions." And then I wake up this morning and he's responding to fucking everything and he's unlocked his account again. <laughs> I uh I, I messaged That's- I messaged somebody like a half hour before the show noticed it and I was like just just click on Steve's replies and just read them. They're great. I'm trying to sit, I'm having technical difficulties on my other computer. I was trying to pull them up because I just thought it was fantastic. Um but yeah, not even six hours and he's back, but now he's like belligerent, which is just kind of cool. I enjoy that. He's like, no, I won't be appearing. I, I don't think I'll ever be appearing again, he might have said. And uh, I don't know. I, I'm curious to see if he'll get in a spot where he actually manages to piss Kirk off. I don't think he will. Oh, no, this will but, like buy him credit. It's like when he deleted his account 
or whatever. He deleted and brought it back again. This is this, is, this the, is good uh, for his brand. I think I think he's going to drop a, an episode in the next week. In the next six seven days, he's going to drop another episode. A consistency episode. A consistency, Here we go. Yeah, Steve. Awesome. Hey, man, it's been it's been fun, but I'm canceling TCP. Thank you to those of the. To those of you who took the time to listen, I will remain on Twitter, but will not respond to anything KMS related until further notice. This was at 3.15 p.m. on April 26th. Uh, he was he was responding by, let's find out. Can you hear the dog? I can. Yeah. Can you hear the yeah. birds, by the way? I, I can't hear them, but. I can't hear the birds I, this time. Uh, okay. They were going before. Let's see. One, this is important, I think. He's replied a lot. Like, I'm scrolling down to get to back when he uh, went on hiatus. Yeah, you had him, like, responding to, like, women or something? I yeah. You, um, <laughs> I love that. Tweeting about Chris are we talking like, are we talking, like, porn girls? No. I'll t- I'll t- okay, so 8.29 a.m. April 27th. So he lasted 12, uh, about 17 hours was how long the uh, – consistency he died for um so yeah there's this woman on twitter she's the bold lib that's like what she brands herself as and i don't know if you've seen her she farms she gets a lot of engagement but she'll post a picture she's got a giant forehead like that like it's, a giant that, forehead. An, that angela and she'll be like uh yeah it's angela uh bel camino yeah so the, the, she's italian the reason um, i know but, about her is because is she's like a she's like the uh the liberal nick adams Alpha man. Yeah, they're they're. I think they're doing some sort of weird like sexual thing. On the yeah, 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 like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And they're, like, they're definitely <laughs> yeah. the, Give me one second. Nick Adams, talking. by the way. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. I know why. It's on my own. That Sorry. Nick Adams guy. You can hear me. Uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna wait for him to come back. I want to see the dogs on on the screen. Can you bring the dogs in? Have you got headphones in? What's the go? All right. Sorry about that. Are you going to bring um, the dogs in? I brought them in. They're in. Yeah, but probably get, like, be, like They're like lap on the lap, dude. So they'll jump up. Yeah, that's what I mean. So let's go. Hands. They're fucking cute as um, shit. Yeah, they're adorable. Are they, are they chihuahuas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'll grab one. Come here, buddy. Oh, oh. Resisting. There we go. How, how heavy are we talking? That's major, right there. <laughs> you got. You only speak Spanish, so you gotta say hola. Ah, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, Vinny's around here too. But yeah, he was. They'll climb into my lap, and I'm trying to work, and I don't want them in my lap. But when, like, if I want them to appear, they won't. Uh, but yeah, so I tweeted. Um, I got like right when Angela Del Camino. I'm, I know I'm saying your name wrong. Got like, she posted and it was like, who's going to, I'm going to dinner with super important people. Who is it? And I was like, is it Steve Glosta? And then he responded directly to her and was like, uh, looks like we're going to dinner. We are. Uh, but don't twist my arm at a good time, he said to her. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about the, you can, you can leave the world all you want, but attention is nice. People love a bit it of is. attention, you know. When you get a few likes, it's addictive. It's also retweeted uh, Mike Matnansky uh, calling Coleman Sir Pouts a lot. So maybe he doesn't like Coleman. Does he not like Coleman? Coleman likes him. Yeah, that'd be a weird. Uh-huh. Like, Coleman loves him. By the way, so uh-huh. do I. Like, he's fucking crazy, but he's. I love Steve. Steve's the man. He's, a fucking he's winning me job. over. I love he's winning jobs. me over. Um, he's not he's not Italian, by the way. He's Sicilian. Don't call him Italian. Big difference. Huge. Or it is. I don't know. I, don't fucking I know. mean, the, the rest of Italy is better off economically than Sicily. <laughs> where do you where do you stand actually, on the um where do you stand on the uh Steve giving away, you know, show show details to Fast Daddy and all that? I believe it. That sounds exactly like something he would probably say, like, hey guys, like, you know, keep it on the down low, but Damn, but he, I, he actually said, do you guys want to know what I'm doing tonight? Like, that's insane. But I guess he's just excited. I, he definitely initiated the conversation. Yeah. He definitely. Like, this is for sure. He would have been like, 
fuck, I, I, I gotta tell you what's up. This is, this is gonna be so good. It's because she's so fucking hot, I think. He was just infatuated. <laughs> yeah, sure I, I'll, I'll tell you what, fun. though. If they did a make a wish thing for me like that with Lucy Burge, I would never tell about it beforehand. <laughs> you I wouldn't spill the beans. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be going out in the group chat. Um, now I got a dog. Major's back. Um, speaking of, so let's talk about McFuss Daddy and uh, that new show. Which is, I don't remember what it's called. It's like uh, a recap stock up, show. Stock down. What is it? Stock up, stock down. Stock up, stock down. Yes. It's like a recap show, but it's not a recap show. And they do a two person snake draft, which is always fun. Um, so I think it really, huh? Your thoughts? Uh, yeah. Um, I think they really uh, now got a cat involved in this whole situation. Um, I think uh, it really speaks to how talented Fuss is that he was able to, you know, do a show with Kane there. Um, I've, I've never seen a bigger anchor to entertainment. And Kane is able. Um, reminds me of a pick me girl. He's just he's every take is bad. He doesn't like every even a blind squirrel occasionally gets a nut. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not the best myself, but like I don't know. I'll I'll, I'll bat at least 200. He's batting like 0.025. Um, Do you have some actually, of the picks that they made? 0.025. He might be batting zero. Might be a big guitar <laughs> ski. I gotta say, I was the fucking opposite. I don't like this was like a week ago, wasn't it? I can't remember exactly. When yeah, it was. it's been a while. So, so I don't remember exactly who they selected, but I thought it was really good. <laughs> I, I really liked it. I don't know though if um I think they mentioned like it's going to be a rotating like Kane's not going to be on it next time. It's going to be like a rotating. Do you yeah, that that's just up, an excuse. Uh, Is that just going to be watching. an excuse to fuck him off? Well, so I don't think Kane understands that. I think Kane thinks it's him and McFuss Daddy, and then a rotating game. I think so as well. Yeah. Which is interesting. Um, I think I hope for the show's sake because I want everybody to do well. I, you know, I, got, I have problems, but I, I I would hope that to be a rotating guest. But it's also kind of funny if uh, he doesn't realize the fuss has fired him yet. <laughs> I don't know. I I liked it at first when um because Kane came into the world. I think what was it? He was trying to get onto the show and he like yeah he was pick me girl made the most pick me. Pick me. It was the most embarrassing phone call and I was like this guy's a fucking loser he like sent a gift basket i think but i'm kind of coming around i don't i don't hate him i think he's kind of i think he's kind of good <laughs> maybe i'm on the out for sure he's easily hateable i mean look at his head he does look like the bagel head. guy the bagel yeah. boss <laughs> oh yeah true he i don't know if you exactly mentioned like that before him. i feel like i've heard that before uh, he's like a oh, regular yeah, size bagel guy huh? he's like a regular size bagel boss is I he, mean, he doesn't look he, short. He looks little. He doesn't look man. short. You think yeah. so? I bet he's just closer to Menner's than Menner's height than your height. If we're using two <laughs> like different forms of Australian to measure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what else I got here. That's all I got for show stuff this week. What else? You got really? Well, yeah, I was gonna say um, uh, there's been a bit of Gus on the show lately. I'm kind of yeah. kind of all back up, all in on Gus again. I don't know if I've said that before, but Gus is the man. He was fucking a disgrace on the show. But this um this puff puff piece that's like one yeah. of the greatest ideas in fucking show history. Like if he actually does it, that's I think that'll be amazing. I, I don't think like. I but by the way, it. yeah. By the way, remember when he um he had the idea? I can't remember exactly what it was that he'd do like a book report. And he was going to get Stephen Hyden on, and that was like the worst, you know, because you got to get someone combative. Do you actually think he's going to? Because the whole premise is you've got to get someone who's done fucking egregious things and do a piece who... interview on. I can't imagine he's going to get anyone good. Oh, uh, the only thing I was when they were talking about that, I was remembering that uh, radio station in like Mansfield, Ohio, Marion, Ohio, that interviewed Bill Cosby. Do you remember that on the show? Oh, yeah, years yeah, ago? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's basically that sort of an interview. So I, I don't think I don't know if he can get Bill Cosby. If he can get if he could get Cosby, the show will be a hit. I thought you meant that, I thought you meant he was going to get the radio host on. <laughs> no, no, I don't know what that guy's name is. Um, no, yeah, who Bill could you Cosby? even get? Like, what, what kind of what kind of people that have done fucked up things that actually great? Him an interview. What's the problem too is I, I think uh what's his face that uh the Jody Foster stalker that plays music shot the president. Hinkley. Um Hinkley. 
Hinkley, I, I don't I don't think he'll say yes because I think he like doesn't say yes to anything. No, he just no. does his music. And all, all his shows are getting canceled. I don't know if you've seen that. Yeah. So maybe yeah. Gus could host him the like like a tiny desk NPR thing where they can brings him on and he, he does an acoustic set for Gus and they smoke. <laughs> that would be sick. Uh, I'm trying I mean, to it's a, people. It's a like, great idea. I, I I can't see it happening. What Casey Anthony? Casey Anthony. Said, I'm just trying to name some people that he could have on. Casey. Does she Anthony, do interviews? I, I kind of doubt it, but you know, this could be our opportunity to come on and just talk about like it's wow. you know, it's not about that. It's about like maybe she knits or something and she could talk about her hobby knitting. Um as long as Gus doesn't have to send them an email to try and invite them, then we might have a chance. Because there's my dog. Um because I don't know if, yeah, remember him emailing, trying to email to get guests on. That was a fucking disaster as well. <laughs> they read one of them and it was just brutal. Yeah, I, don't, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think he like started sentences without a capital letter and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think of at least one more. Larry Nasser, is he still alive? The problem is though he's in prison if he is still alive. Yeah, I mean, good luck with that. You got to get people that aren't in prison. Get him behind the screen. I wonder if he could get like a Hamas guy. Like one of the like the people that are holding the hostages, even just like Net Netanyahu, I think he would be down for an interview. He loves the attention. I mean, he might as well reach out to Trump and Biden too. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think the um, do you think the stream with Big Cat's gonna happen? That's tough. Uh, Big Cat kind of forced him into a corner too, where he can't quit now because if he quits before like. That game, the new NCAA comes out, and Big Cat's going to come on. Well, I mean, that's just, he's yeah. going to never be able to live that one down. So I, I, I mean, Big Cat, if that's if that happens, that's huge. Big Cat does numbies. I mean, he was like the number one guy on Twitch when he did the Dugs thing. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah, I was watching. Like, that was great. I loved game. it. Yeah, pandemic content for Marcel was fantastic. I love that, and I love the unboxing. I watched every minute of the unboxing. Did you watch that? Did you? Oh God, dude! Tough. I was addicted to it. And then uh, I also watched a lot of riots back then too. Like I would watch the live streams, like the coverage. No, not the, like the coverage. Like the guys that would write like reporter on their helmet and then like just have their iPhone and stream it to YouTube. Those guys. It was kind of entertaining. I'm trying not to get caught up in that though, because I'll, I'll do that for eight hours, and I'll be like, oh shit, what a waste of time that was. <laughs> I've been watching a lot lately of like police body cam footage of like getting into gunfights with people. I don't know. It's um, my YouTube um, algorithm's gone crazy. On drips, they mentioned, uh, or no, it was uh, Mike and Minifans last night. I think someone mentioned that their uh, timeline is a lot less death videos anymore. Did you? Right. I, mine's still a lot of death videos. I think John said his was. I don't know about you. You got How many people do you see die a day on your Twitter? Just scrolling, do you think? You yeah you're right I guess it's been a minute I mean I kind of like I kind of I'm a sicko with that stuff like I I kind of like those videos like this so and then we get a dog put him on the camera yeah he's better looking have better numbers <laughs> the problem is it's, it's a touch screen so like if he touches the screen we're fucked um I get a lot of Ukrainian videos because of what the stuff I look up and all that so I get a lot of uh like the videos where the guys are laying there dying and they're like, oh, and then they drop the grenade off. Oh, yeah. I had one of those recently. Yeah. 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 I get those constantly. I mean, literally, absolutely constant. It's been and a war week for me. But that like, war old now war. is like old news. That's, yeah. That's I don't even care about that war anymore. I don't that's even know news. We gave even know too much at. attention last episode. We uh, we could have used that time for something more valuable, for sure. <laughs> you been watching anything on the tube lately? The boob tube? Boob tube? Porn? No, see, I was wondering if you know. I don't know why they call it the boob tube, but that's like an old way of saying. Who calls television. it that? Oh. You'll hear it like on The Simpsons and stuff. I'm going to look it up real quick. I don't really boob watch tube. I definitely don't watch TV and movies. I've been watching a lot of UFC lately, just old fights. I don't know. They're just – YouTube's annoying lately. Like, I watched a Stavros crowd work video last night, and then my whole YouTube algorithm was Stavros videos. I was like, come on, I don't – and the worst thing is when you watch a video that you didn't like, 
and then your whole algorithms and all this shit that you're like, I'm not even fucking interested in this shit. That's how everything works, lately. too. Uh, I looked it up, by the way. Boob tube's like from the 50s. I, I, I got to look it up further, but I don't know. It's an old American reference. In Britain, they call it. Uh, I also saw below that it said, in Britain, they call a boob tube like a tube top. I'm <laughs> talking about tube top. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. We do that here as well, obviously. Yeah. Th- okay. Well, in America, in North America, boob tube's boob tube. old ways. TV. It's TV. We just call that a tube right. top. Um, I've this week so far I've watched America I've watched Apocalypse Now, the Redux version, uh twice. Um it's like three and a half hours long. You need to see it, dude. It's probably I gave it a 92 out of 92 for my movie rating scale. I think it's out of probably 92. yeah, it's a per it's a perfect movie. You've never seen it at all. You could you could go. Yeah, I'm sure you know this. quotes like you know, like Charlie Don't Surf. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. I know that one. Yeah, yeah, that's all from that movie. But I think you could name right now. You could name like 15 movies, and I probably haven't seen any of them. Well, uh, after that, I watched Full Metal Jacket. I watch that one every couple weeks. I don't even know who's in that. That's uh, again. Um, two things come from Texas: steers and queers. I don't see any horns. Oh on yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. That's the drill sergeant talking to a private pile, trying to who, think who are the actors in that. There's I. There's other good lines in that one. And he's like, uh, I don't know. Um, then I, also, I just finished watching All Quiet on the Western Front on Netflix. Um, that was fantastic. It's a German movie based. It's a remake of an old book from 1930. It's World War I. Came out okay. in 2023, I think. But they dubbed it in English. So it was okay. good. Really uh, good cinematography. There's a scene where all these tanks are coming at him. And it's, it's pretty fucking scary. And then there's these guys with flamethrowers, and they're just torching everybody in the trenches. It's nice. <laughs> it's, it's, the only time I really, it's the only time I really tune out during KMS is when they get deep movie talk. I'm like, I don't know. Yeah. Movies, uh, for me. I don't know. Yeah, the, show kinda goes, the show kind of goes through eras. And, like, movie talk has definitely been lower now than it was. But when uh, Clemmer was on, it was uh, all movies. Well, that's... I was just about to say that, like, I wonder if that's a big reason why I couldn't stand Clemmer. I mean, I think also because he was fucking really boring. He's been going nuts lately at Barstool. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually listened to Big Central, like, on and off. But he's, he's pretty entertaining on there. But it's like the, remember the Justin fight that they had? Where he yeah. was just a condescending dad. That's all he does every episode. Like, some, like, Meek Phil. 20 year old or whatever the hell he is will give some opinion and he's clearly being a troll and Clement just starts basically crying and it's like come on man you're a fucking cunt his voice does, his voice gets pretty high when he's yelling which is I mean his voice is high anyway but but he I just like, can't help I, do the he just can't help do the thing of like I've been watching football or whatever baseball since before you I've been watching football, baseball so. since the 1990s yeah you, your opinion is redundant it's like you're a fucking loser I once managed. Um, I once managed the Seattle Mariners. Yeah, yeah. But he, he is good. He's entertaining. I don't know. I fucking love. Oh, I like, like him. him. He's a crybaby, but it's hilarious. I gave him like eight bucks for the Mariners. You did subscribe. Bought a couple people subscriptions or whatever. Really? Yeah, it was at least like eight or nine bucks. I gave to that. Why do you? Even, why, do you why do you end that? Like that was popular. That, that gets discussed. I think you even got talked about it on Mike and Minifans last night. Like it's it made no sense to quit doing it. It requires no producer. He just sits there and does it on his computer. I don't know. Maybe uh we sh- maybe I should do the uh Australian baseball league on there. Do that <laughs> one. Bring that back. Do you remember the do you remember those teams you had? Do you remember the names? No. I could look and pull them up. I've still got it, all the file and stuff. I played it through like 2035. Because it's only like an eighty game season, I right. really fly through them. <laughs> waste of you put teams in time. cities that have like you put teams in cities that have like ten thousand people. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, yeah, I did. Gave them like twenty thousand <laughs> seat stadiums. It is what it is. I was don't happy don't, don't you have that? Don't you have that in like college football though? Like, isn't there like like university towns that have like fifty thousand? Oh people yeah, and they have a, um, they have a stadium that size. Well, uh, WVU's football stadium when it's when they sell out, that's the biggest city in West Virginia. 
like it when seats they sell like out. that's it. Yeah, it seats like sixty five thousand, and the next two biggest cities are like forty two thousand, forty five thousand. <laughs> and uh, Penn State, Penn State, uh, Happy Valley is just basically in the middle of nowhere. Um, okay. There's a few other. I mean, there. I mean, uh, Ohio State's built up a lot, but back in like the seventies, Columbus was a, well, basically a farm town. It's Again, with, with your with your like towns and cities and stuff, like you don't have to go very far, right? Like 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 what like Penn State. Like there is a lot of towns and cities like nearby. Well no, do you have to like drive an hour? I've never been there. So that's not okay. a good one for me to tell you. All right. Um just because it's a it's a very Australian thing that like cities are hours and hours away. So it's it's uh not- like Kansas State, they're in Manhattan, Kansas, the little apple. I love that one. Um, I bet you, that's tough. that's a fairly small town, college town. I bet though they could drive within an hour and be in a city with at least fifty thousand people, probably. I don't right. know. And then they've got uh, Kansas City to their east and whatever. The God hates Penn God State. Hates State in the middle of Penn State's in the middle of nowhere. You're driving on a highway, and then all of a sudden, you see a massive hundred thousand person stadium, and then there's there's a college town. So like they have everything there, but when that's college isn't in session, it's like maybe ten thousand people that live there. When a college is in session, there's a hundred and ten thousand people there. Pretty. So where much. do they all come from? All over. I mean, it's Penn State. So, yeah, Penn but State. Are we talking like hours hours of driving, or are they like sort of half an hour away? Oh, so you're talking about the people that go to those games? Yeah, yeah. So like I'm from Scranton, middle Happy Valley's and two and a half hours away. My parents used to have season tickets to it. So like they oh. would drive that far for it. Yeah. Do you like, stay the night? Back then they wouldn't, no. But like some people, I mean, you should Penn State tailgating is instead they have like miles of fields that they you just park RVs and just the tailgate is all that surrounds the stadium. But the stadium's the biggest thing you'll ever see. It just pops out of nowhere, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. over a hundred thousand too. That's yeah, it's a hundred and ten thousand. Yeah, it's like West Virginia. When there's a game at Penn State, it's the third highest populated city in the state. <laughs> it's awesome. insane. Behind Pittsburgh and Philly. Okay. There's your Pennsylvania. That's perfect example. Thank you, John. Oh. Um, yeah, there's people that that's the same for like all big colleges. There's people that live across the river from me here in Mexico that drive three hours to go to Columbus for Ohio State games. Like, is that is that how far the drive is from Mexico to Ohio? Yeah, from where I am right now in Mexico, yeah, it's it's roughly right. three hours. Three hours is some change north to Columbus. Do you, um, are you gonna go to the NFL game in Mexico this year? Uh, probably. I, I feel like that's gonna be a disaster. Well, I think they've like scheduled that like two, three times before. Have they ever played? Yeah, but didn't they say? Like, I swear, the last time they did it, they were they said like never again. Leave the cat alone. Come on. I can't remember exactly when it was, but they canceled one recently. Yet. Yeah. <laughs> they canceled one recently. I don't know if it was the last season. They're playing a bunch of games in Germany too, and then. I like that. Germans love that shit. The, I, they can't. I, I don't see how they could play a game in Australia. It's it's literally too far away. Yeah, I'm just thinking because it would t- it takes a day to fly there. But then, how would they ever have a London team? Because I know they really want to do that. I don't. That's a lot shorter flight, obviously. They're only five hours ahead of the New York City in London. But I mean, I don't think it would work. It's. I think it sucks. I think she's just playing the stadiums that the teams are in. I, is it I really like only five hours? Huh? Is it really only five hours? Five hours ahead, yeah. Okay. Uh, the eastern seaboard of the United States is uh, five hours, minus five. And, you know, England's zero. We just need you the tectonic plates to, to move a little bit, like like our map and our background here, our new background. If, if know, the world is like I, that. I Perfect fit. It's I, I like to where uh, McKay and it's, or the jungle and all that shit up there is like by Nova Scotia. I just enjoy that. McKay, uh, McKay, that's Darwin. That's that's Darwin up there. Huh? That's Darwin where you're looking at. Right yeah, now. yeah, I, I see that. Uh, McKay is like on the coast. The other New York is like next to like Caratha. You've got like what else have we got there? 
Broome is next to Lake Georgia. Perth well, is Lake Florida. Eastern United States is next to like emptiness. Like it is, all it is in it? Aboriginal. Eastern, and... Well, that that part of yeah, that north. It really is that there would be a population boom if the, if this was a situation, but it is just desert up there. Yeah, that northwest. There's fucking nothing there. Like yeah. I don't, I can't, I don't know the distance, but that, that whole like top part of Western Australia, which is a massive area, there would be 100,000 people. There's fuck all people there. It really is right, nothing I, there. It's crazy. We're so I bad. I found out about y'all's uh, truck trains the other day. Or not the other Road day. Trains. A couple years ago. Yeah, it was crazy. They, y'all just like latch a bunch of trucks together and just yeah, drive yeah. through the desert. Yeah, yeah. I saw something like they just blast kangaroos. That's what it was. I saw a video where they were just blasting kangaroos. <laughs> like, how about, that? how about that video that came out a couple months ago of that truck driver who just mows down a bunch of sheep? With the sheep, yes, it was exactly like that, but basically, but with kangaroos. Uh, I kind of like so you, you, you shouldn't laugh at that stuff, but I, I'm a sicko, so like I'm, when I came on the feed, I was crying. Well, especially the sheep one. I'm sure people have seen that as well. Wasn't that on Rogan? Was that where? Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. I think he was one of the and people. The, uh, the friggin' windshield wipers come on because of all the blood yeah, and yeah. the horse. And the truck driver's, the truck driver's going, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck it's, it in, it's in black and white, and it's at night, so it's not, like, gory. I don't know if you can hear the birds. Now they're going, the birds are going nuts. How is uh, Yeah, um, I did hear him for a minute there. So I did look. Your magpies are different than our magpies. I don't really know how. It just said they're in different families. Like, our, our magpies are corvids. Which is like crows, ravens, and all oh, that. Your yeah. magpies are like a different thing. thing. Yeah, I think that aren't ours are like endemic. I thought we only had magpies. Like, I don't think Do you, you only have Aust- yeah, Australian magpies are only in Australia. Black the magpies in uh, the rest of the world are the same. Yeah, so congratulations. And they introduced like them in New Zealand. Magpies. Yeah, the Australian ones. What we weren't native there. They were like, ah, we, do, we need some of these over here in New Zealand. Why? Did I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Was the, I, I literally think, like, I'm trying to remember what species was introduced here. They're these little nasty uh, black birds. They're awful. They're called, like, starlings, I think. And if okay. I'm correct, they were introduced here by, like, some British person who just liked them. Maybe they appeared in, like, uh, one of Shakespeare's novels or something. And they wanted to have all of the birds that existed in Shakespeare's world here in the United States. So it's like the 19th century. So they just did it. So now we've got these fucking starlings, which are just awful. They, they, if you put grass seed out in your yard, they're going to eat every bit of it. There's tons of them. They're gross. They go. So <laughs> <laughs> I sound like yeah, exactly. I'd um, imagine you guys have like every kind of animal in like Mexico. Just- yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Because just like uh, knowing, like Texas, ha- Texas has all the kangaroos. Like, I bet you there's just so many rich people over there that are like, oh, just, oh I yeah, yeah. Um, up in up. Speaking of Ohio, back in probably like 2016, some guy went nuts. <laughs> he killed himself, but before he did, he let all of his uh, Mr. Hands. He let all of his wildlife go like free. And he had like lions and tigers and he had everything. So like uh, the state troopers and like the guy that ran the Columbus Zoo, Jungle Jungle Jack Hanna was his name. I think he died recently. But anyway, they were running around in central Ohio, like farm fields, like killing elephants and shit. Because <laughs> this lunatic just let him go. It was kind of, it was nuts. I feel bad for the animals. I don't think you should be able to have elephants i mean well I, as a libertarian i guess whatever if you can afford it fine but it's kind of cruel <laughs> is that a libertarian take i guess it is like, i mean yeah you can't who's to say you shouldn't be allowed to have a giraffe animal cruelty it's all good i mean it, it's fucked up uh speaking of animal cruelty this came out yesterday or the day before i just saw it yesterday have you seen anything about the governor of north dakota or south dakota killed her dog Oh yeah, 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 yeah! How fucking insane is that? She's running for like VP. I, she wants to be Trump's VP. Yeah, uh, she's kind of cute, but like now I don't like her at all. She can go fuck herself. <laughs> but 
then she like doubled down on it too. Like she was trying to prove that like she's willing to make the tough decisions. I was like, no, your decision, you, you just killed it, you fucking bitch. Um, but then she doubled down. And she was like, ah, uh, oh, well, the dog snapped at me and it was untrainable. And it's like, okay. Well, so that is true. I was going to say that. I saw some quotes and I was like, well, I think they were like, uh, yeah. it was just too difficult. She and, that. And then, and then she killed it a goat. The goat would uh, chase her kids. So she killed the goat too. I don't care as much about the goat because it's a farm animal. I understand on a farm, farm animals, but dogs and cats are different than farm animals. So I'm, I'm, kind of I'm really upset about that. Uh, I guarantee she will never be chosen as vice president. No, you no, can't. She's fucking sank her own campaign. You can't like. I literally, hi, my name is Christy Noam, and I kill puppies. What kind so of dog was it? Like, huh? What kind of dog was it? I, I don't. It was some kind of weird uh, bird dog. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't my kind of dog. But you know, it's a dog. So just messed up. Horrible human being. Hope she rots in hell. <laughs> um, what else we got? You want, you want to talk about smoke shows of the week? Let's we haven't done this a couple weeks. All right. You See, want I, to I think it's I, it's smoke of the month, really. And I know <laughs> that's not a great alliteration. I liked, see, I like mommy of the month, but that fucking makes you weird it out. Weird, I don't like it. You can do the Australian mommy of the month if you'd like. Matriarch of the month. Matriarch. Uh, do the guilt of the month. Yeah, we'll just, well, let's just do that from now on. Each of us every week will just get the hottest uh, senior citizen we can find. We actually should do that over uh, over 60s. <laughs> over 60s. Who was going to recently? Oh, damn. Well, mine, I, I'm keeping it patriotic, but the maybe the hottest Australian of all time, Miranda Kerr. She's a fucking, she is oh. just, she is incredible. Um, she kind of looks like the just, girl that was on Fallout the other day. On what? On the Fallout show. That girl. I'm all in on her. The she Ella Pernell I think yeah. she was like she was like sort of famous over there a little while ago because she was like married to Orlando Bloom. Oh wow, we've I've heard of him. He's the he's the Lord of the Rings guy, right? The yeah, boy. he was Legolas. He um, was also in uh he was in Pirates of the Caribbean too. I don't remember his character's name on that though. What wait, what happened to him? Did he just Orlando Bloom? Yeah, he did just kind of go yeah. away, didn't he? Maybe it's the uh, fail, failure of the marriage just ended him his fucking heavy depression. I'm what actually looking on? because I, lost this. I haven't thought Are about you... him. And... You Sorry, should look ahead. up Miranda Kerr though. Well, I was going to say, this is a photo from like 10 years ago and I was even looking up just photos of like this year and she is still incredible. Like, just she's going to be incredible when she's like 60, 70 plus. She's, she's uh, 41 really years old right now. Is she? Are you Googling right yeah. now? She's yeah, I'm looking at her right now. Just Google her in 2024 and you'll be like, holy shit. So well, I'm not gonna go that. She, she's uh <laughs> get down. She's married to um the CEO of Snapchat, which I find really interesting. Like Snapchat's just a fucking disaster. Have you been on Snapchat? Do you use that? I've never been a Snapchat guy. That was big. Come on. You never like Stop. sent photos of your you never like took a dump and sent a photo to your mates. Because you're, you're the same age as me. Snapchat was like around when we were like 17. Yeah, it was big when we were in uh, college. I just knew the cat is like... Cat, cat sounds like it's dying. It's the, It thinks it's tough. It's this little goofy cat. And uh, it, it's mean as hell. Nobody likes it. We didn't even name it. His name's Kitty. But it like... <laughs> and it, it just like goes up to the dogs and refuses to back down. So right now it's underneath the chair next oh, to it's just, And it's, yeah, it's just doing <laughs> They go near it and it goes Rawr! Smacks them. Do you, ever, do you ever hear a cat fight? Do you ever like hear a cat fight? Like you'd be oh like, yeah, it's you know, awful, dude. It sounds in the like morning. kids like crying. I think it's hilarious. <laughs> Did you see that uh, GoPro video of the cat the other day that went viral? No. no. So I'll, I'll send it to you after this. It's great. It's a cat chasing another cat. It's got a GoPro on. It's like the action movie. Oh, I please, I would love that. Oh, it's fantastic, dude. At one point, like, it catches the other cat. Like, you can see it. They're going, Rah! and they're tussling. And then they start running again. And the uh, the cat with the GoPro has got, like, a little bit of fur in its mouth. You can see. <laughs> Just a great video. I want to spoil the whole plot for you, though. 
It's about three right. minutes, four minutes. Um, so my smoke show of the week, Lucy Burge. Oh, um, that's a shocker. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. She's been killing it this week. She's the queen of dongs. Um, I do like that you've just taken like a screenshot of her Instagram story. She responded to me in a tweet today. Um, she tweeted that she was at the at Fenway. I tweeted sup, and she responded with a gif of uh, Steve Carell from The Office going woof woof woof, which is one I've been tweeting at her. So I appreciate that making progress in our relationship. Very happy about it. I love it. She's like an OnlyFans girl. Like she knows her. She's all so much followers. better than an OnlyFans girl, though. Yeah, but she knows all her followers are sickos, and she's just playing into it. Because you're a fucking sicko. No, no. I I follow her because, well, first of all, because she's beautiful. But second of all, because she's a uh, gambling savant. She's the female Robbie V. <laughs> right. Dope of the yes. day. Yes. So You take her pics, too? Huh? You take her pics? Oh, yeah. All the time. I I, I made... Give me one. Re- give me a recent one. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Uh, we can't talk about that, dummy. Oh, oh, sorry. Pick of the pick of the day, pick of the week. Write that one down. Good job there, loser, Blake, idiot. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, right. You want to do Marshall news since we we moved that towards the rear of the episode so people wouldn't stop watching at the beginning. <laughs> I think people love Marshall talk. Uh, Marshall baseball. I love Marshall talk, but uh, so we have big news today. The NFL draft was going on, and today in day, day three, we had two Marshall guys get drafted. There might have been one more later on. I haven't checked yet for the seventh round. But uh, in the fifth round, Rasheen Ali went 165th overall in the fifth round to the uh, to the Baltimore Ravens, which is, I don't know, that's a crowded running back room. But I actually was surprised by that one. I thought he was going to be a seventh rounder or uh, one of the first – Undrafted free agents taken. But um, no, fifth round pick. Great player. He had 23 touchdowns, I think, his freshman year back in 2021. He was hurt in 22, only played like two or three games. Um, but then this most recent year, he had, he ran for I think, almost 200 yards or something against Virginia Tech. Maybe it was all purpose yards. Catches the ball a lot. Uh, yeah, he good receiving running back. So we'll see. He's had an injury history, though. That's the problem with him. But uh, okay. one of the stranger cool. careers at Marshall, in all, honestly. Then also uh, we had Micah Abraham go 201st overall in the sixth round to the uh, Indianapolis Colts. That's Donnie Abraham's son. If you're familiar with Who's Donnie that? Abraham, he played for the Chiefs back in the early 2000s. He's a coach okay. right now for the St. Louis Battlehawks, actually, the XFL or the okay. USFL or the UFL. Um, so, and that's all I got for Marshall news. Uh, we're just happy about that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'll do, have to uh, keep an eye on those guys. I um, yeah. There's no real draft takes I've got. I don't think um, because Texans didn't have any first round picks. Um, we took a couple of, like defensive backs in the second round, which I think is kind of cool, and a tackle. Um, obviously, Penix going eight was kind of. I'm a big penis, Penix guy. I was about to say penis. Uh, I'm a lefty, so I was just rooting for him hard. Except when he took down the Longhorns in the playoffs. The only thing I didn't, uh, I don't. They kept talking about him like he was ancient, like twenty-four years old. Like that was a draft, like go-to. Like, oh yeah, twenty-four. They're too old. The f- what are you talking? They're not Brandon Wheaton. Brandon Wheaton was twenty-eight when the Browns took him back in twenty twelve. That one I understand. He's still under thirty years old when his rookie contract's over at twenty-four. It really so doesn't matter. matter. So what's the scenario? Because Kirk is gonna play at least the next two years unless there's some crazy drop off right what is he like 35 uh, i think he might be a little older than that 30 he's a 2012 rookie he might be let's see i think he's like, i think i think he's born like he's 80, 35 80. you're right 35 years old right so i couldn't believe that he's this year so, so that was that was a wild like one. i think you, you you pay this guy like 100 million dollars guaranteed you want him to play so it's like best case scenario, Panic's debuts at like 24, 26, 26, 27, yeah. maybe if, if there's three more years. Isn't that crazy? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, the, he's got a decade window there. That's about how long a quarterback lasts anyway, really. Yeah, yeah. but I think there's also like a lot of questions, you know, how well he like moves around. I don't know. He's yeah, well, he's injury, injury history. 
when I saw his injury history, I was like, oh, jeez. Yeah, knees like are bad. Knees He's got oh, that yeah. weird picture of his arm where his like arms disconnected, basically. All right, I think Jones, Jane, I'm talking about yeah, Jane yeah. Daniels there. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Which is fucking insane, by the way. Um, He's, he was hurt a lot, too. Daniels. Injury guy. Yeah. I think Daniels. Daniels probably has the best chance of being something. Yeah. If he can not take a hit. Did you ever watch, his, did you watch him play? He loved fucking getting hit. His favorite thing was just running, running to defenders and getting fucking lit up. That's so, fun. I don't really, I don't watch much college football beyond Marshall, to be honest with you. Right. It just doesn't interest me because it's so broken with the NIL and all that. We can't compete. So I don't know. it's a circle jerk. Old man takes right here. Old man yells at clouds like my <laughs> life story. Uh, I did want to bring up one thing because I, I discussed this briefly with Pat earlier this week. I, I DM'd him because I didn't want to step on his toes. Uh, Pat Ford, the drip lord. Um, because on drips, drips in the office, they talk poop a lot. But um, we're good to go. I cleared it with him. We're good, we're we're talking about you know they talk about poop like with kids pooping, like their children pooping. Uh, friggin' uh, John and Warren's kid pooped all over the Bahamas. He was like just shitting in the pool left and right. Jam- make, Jamaica, making Jamaica, whatever, making the Jamaican people <laughs> clean it up for him. Colonizer. Um, that was hilarious. Okay. So, uh, we're gonna be talking about pooping pants as adults. I pooped my pants twice last week. Um, neither was a long, like a full duty or anything, but I had two, I gambled on two farts and lost both, both times. The dog's like literally eating the paper now. Um, I think that you're just aging gracefully. Like, that's what, what men do. We shit our pants. I, I I shit my pants at, like in that manner where I gamble because when I'm home I live alone I just rip them dude it's like one of my like, and then I'll laugh if it's a really big one like I love oh, yeah. farting it's so much fun but so that's why that keeps happening um so so but since I turned like I I put my pants on my thirtieth birthday um I remember that exactly because that was a bad right. one actually that one that one really got some traction um. Like and I was out, like I was at a bar when it happened, which wasn't great. But anyway, um, why? What happened? You just shit face. I was at, a, I was in the bathroom at the bar, uh, using the urinal, pissing, and I was like, eh, I gotta let one go. So I cracked it off, and I just felt something warm down my leg. That was a good one. Oh, it was, it was um, a wet one. Oh, yeah, they're always wet ones. That's what it always is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's fucked so, up. Uh, You're a How many times have you shat your pants? My God. Since I turned 30, I, I will estimate that I've shit my pants at least 15 times. Maybe very degrees. Usually very small amounts, but I consider that a shit my pants situation. Um, so I'm gonna, I, I need to look into diet, maybe. Um, okay. I, we can come up with solutions to these problems. I don't know if you ever watched Robin Big. You remember that one back in the day on MTV? Uh, Rob mm-hmm. Deerdeck, and then he had uh, this, his bodyguard. I hate him. Uh, uh, his bodyguard was this, uh, like enormous, like 500 pound black guy. He died, God, probably been 10 years ago now. But he used to take toilet paper and like wrap it around his butt and like a man, he called it a man pond. Cause then he would talk about like when he would laugh too hard, something would slip out. <laughs> That's what that thing. I might so have to start wearing a man up. pond. Have you had dinner yet? Like, are we, what, what are we looking at tonight? Vegetables, just chicken and vegetables, or are we eating more Pizza Hut? No, I had a, uh, I had a, uh, some leftover corned beef and potatoes for lunch. And then I had, I made two hot dogs before this, just uh, two hot dogs on the grill with some ketchup. So cheese. <laughs> I must have I've drank, I've drank like six Pepsis and I'm on like my fourth Sprite. So like, just, that's just, fucked up. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, I'm not going to criticize, but you're a fucking maniac. I have no problem. Yeah. I'll go through like 10 Cokes a day, like 12, eight, like cans like this. I'll drink like 10 of these yeah. today. It's disgusting. It's a horrible habit. If I didn't do that, I'd probably weigh like 180 pounds. I was going to say, like if, if, if you, you can eat what, what you wanted, I think. But I think if you just solely cut those out, you would actually lose a bunch of weight. Because the sugar is insane. I also, like, I'm not fat. I don't know, ask, you should ask Justin. You should ask Justin because it's easily a calories guy. Which, by the way, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I bitched about that on like episode two. Sorry. Is it their, their weight loss challenge thing? Is that, is that, gonna come back or is that just 
Is that I'd right? forgotten about it. Yeah, because there is. I think Shark Minahan put I, out like some odds of like who's going to win, and, I, and I one of the odds was like. Surprised Kirk hasn't thought about it either. They got it. That's a great. You had the you cut out completely there. No, you cut out. Fuck off. It's fucking you, Mexican fucking internet. Get the fuck out of here. We've been good. All right. A couple of episodes. Yeah, I think they're at the mercy of that thing. I can hear you now. We're good. We're good. Relax. Take it easy. I feel like uh, Christian Bale when he starts, when he was screaming at the producer and stuff, (laughs) the cameraman. Um, Every once in a while, I'll watch that. That's fucking amazing. Oh, it's great. I love that and the Mel Gibson tapes. I listened to the Mel Gibson tapes and the Opie and Anthony. I've sent that to you before. The Opie and Anthony listening to the Mel Gibson tapes. It, I listen to that at least once a year. I deserve to be blown. That's just my favorite line. I like that line a lot. And I like that mindset. <laughs> Big fan of that mindset. It's like, I like you get the jacuzzi and you blow me. Jason Mel Gibson tape. Um, dude, we're almost at an hour now. This show, this is the least favorite show on the network. I think we, I think we have to call it. All right, I, I think All so right, as well. So we appreciate it, everybody. Sorry it went too long. Pat and uh, Pat and John, hope you enjoy your personal episode that we produced for you this week. Uh, we'll be back <laughs> in two more weeks with episode six. John, take it from here, buddy.